back. So I'm working on CX here and in this video I'm going to show you exactly what I did to do a flush mount LED system in the rear hoop. Comes out looking super clean so stick around and I'll show you everything I did to, to do it. Alright enough of the other bikes. Tuning back into the CX project here and I'm going to work on flushing in a multi LED strip tail light into the rear hoop here. Um, not something I've ever actually done quite to this extent, so it's going to be a learning experience and I hope I can uh, at least provide some guidance and maybe help you guys out if you ever want to try the same thing. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this project and we'll figure it out. Alright, to get this project started, let's go through kind of what I'm working with here. This is an LED strip from Radiance. Now you can spec these in different lengths and different colors and smoke or clear or you know however many LEDs you want in amber or red and then beyond that you can spec them with a uh, dual element converter here and that allows you to run instead of just like an on off light to have a brake light or run, run and brake. You can actually also spec these as a five wire with a left and right turn signal in them. But we're going to use this one as just a brake light, uh, brake and run, to keep it clean since we have a you know we have uh, turn signals mounted on the bars, which should be really visible. Now this is actually a flexible, a flexible turn sig or a flexible brake light, which is why I want to use it. I know it's high quality because I've used it before. So I'm going to go ahead and start making a template of what I have in mind to try to get this sunk into the rear hoop which is going to be a little tricky and the reason for that I don't want to just cut a hole in here which I know if you guys have seen LED uh, flush mount cafe racer rear hoops you'll find these things on eBay for like 30 bucks and they are garbage and I say that because it's usually just a hole cut in it and they'll just shove a cheap LED in there it won't fit very tight and it just doesn't look good. It doesn't have a nice finished quality to it. And what I want to do is build a complete insert that I'll weld into the hoop. And this is going to be really, really tricky, but I, I just want to figure it out and make it as nice as I can. So follow along and we'll see what we can figure out here. So this is going to be quite hard to see and probably quite hard to explain, but I'll do my best here. So you know I want to bend this around the arc that is the uh, rear hoop. So you have to measure your center line radiuses and the outside diameter of the hoop is I think right at uh, seven and se seven inches and seven eighths. So seven and seven eighths inches. So I, I, uh, I struck a bunch of arcs and I've marked the seven and seven eighths, okay? And you want your outer edge of the LED to be at that mark. Now this thing is three eighths of an inch thick so I've marked three-eighths of an inch in and then I've struck another radius there. Now I can't really, I don't want to bend this thing just yet because it's not the final final piece I'm going to bend it to. So I made a just a, a piece here that's the same length. I marked my center and then to get my outer width of how to section the tube on the bike I, uh, I you know, I roll this uh, two hands obviously you roll this to find your your outer length. You know how much how much length you're going to use on that radius. Now, uh, from there, I think what I'm going to do is actually full, like take a piece and fold it over with rounded edges on either side to simulate the rounded edges here. And then I'll have another piece of metal that matches the curve that this will actually adhere to. All of this will be welded, and then that'll be a single piece that I'll I'll weld into the hoop itself. So, another thing you have to consider um, on the outer edge here, I've marked the length of, you know, the length of this piece. But if you put the, you know, if you were to put the length here, and you rotate it out, the outer curve sticks out just past. So I have to think to go just past this whenever I'm whenever I'm sectioning stuff and whenever I'm building the piece to actually roll over. So this is what I'm going to try to build next and what I've done there is I've marked my uh, height points here. 
so I know the height, the you know the width of the piece I need to make, because I'll have to make that in one in one shot, and then cut out that arc to it. It's it's kind of this is kind of hard to explain, but uh, we're gonna get through it. So anyway, um, I'm gonna continue on with that. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can ex explain this clearly here. So you saw I had drawn an arc, a uh, series of arcs on here to match the rear hoop. And what I've done is I've bent up a piece of metal that simulates the height of the light and then the overall length once it's, once it's wrapped. And this is gonna be the piece that this adheres to and wraps within the hoop. So if you notice, this matches this curve and that's gonna be the rearward surface. So now what I have to do is mimic this piece to which this sits inside. Okay, we have like a little channel in there. And then this will get trimmed to match that curve on the OD as well as the ID. And then this, you know, three, two pieces of metal will get welded and become one. And then the light is gonna sit within that and wrap around. And I've never, I've done a, a lot of searching to see if I can find anybody who's, who's done one like this or just made one in general and I can't seem to find anything. So I'm just figuring it out as I go and I'm, to me I feel like this is the best, best process that'll work with the tools I have and my, you know, my skill set. So I'm just going to figure it out and, you know, I, I think it'll turn out good. But this is going to be a tricky piece to make out of uh, out of sheet metal because I'm going to have to heat it up and get a, a ni get a nice precise bend here, and then weld it in the center and and then metal finish it and stuff. So this is going to be the hard part. But I'm going to start that now and start cutting. <laughs> Okay, here's where I'm at with this. I've got my piece cut out, got my center marked, and then you probably can't see it, but these two marks right here are where I'm going to begin the bend at, and I have to account for the little curve on the end uh, to take up material. So in measuring this piece, I, I did just that. I added, it was like three quarters, an, three quarters an inch on either side for for wrap, and then I trimmed it back from there. And then what I'm going to do, since I know my bend line, I have some 3 8 inch uh, round bar here, which is the same same diameter as the, the piece there. I'm gonna clamp this, and then I'm just gonna heat up this material and work on just getting a nice tight bend, rolling it back over. Same thing on this side, and then I'll weld the center. And then from there, once I weld this in place, I'll go ahead and cut the back side out, and then we'll get it we'll get it nice and cleaned up. So it's not gonna be a very big piece when it's done, but hopefully, hopefully it works.
Well, it looks like I bent it too, you're not, not wide enough. Which is okay, I'm just learning. This is not an exact science, it's definitely not something I've done, so we're gonna go ahead and start over with, with this piece and just bend it out about a quarter inch wider on either side. But that's a good learning experience, so I can now, now the next one will be easier. All right, so here's half of it done. It's all welded on the back side, so that's all there. After which I cut, you know, cut this section out. So now you can see the line. I'm going to cut this section off, both sides, of course, and that'll give it about three eighths of an inch all the way around in depth. And then I should be able to sink the tail light right into there, and then I'll weld that into the bike. All right, so you can see here, I've rounded the outer edge and I've just cleaned it up a little bit and then you probably won't be able to see this, but at the seam where the pieces were folded together and then welded, uh, I just had to do a little bit of clean up on the inside, but I've done a test fit with the tail light and it actually fits in here really well. Since I got it right here, I'll kind of show you. I'll get a visual of what I'm talking about here. So it'll lay in there and then <clears throat> you actually take a heat gun and heat the light up just a little bit at a time not too much and you slowly bend it around now this I'm hoping is going to like once you once you roll it around it'll all fit in there and be nice and clean so right now uh, what I'm gonna do is I have to just drill a little bit or a little hole in the back side here just for the wiring pass through simple and then uh, I'll do a I'll figure out where I want to drill the hole in the, in the bike but I've actually got it taped up on the bike kind of where I'm gonna cut out and, and do the relief cut and then I'm gonna sink this in there and just hope I hope it works so I'm kind of nervous about it honestly but you know nothing ventured nothing gained Check it out, I got this thing fitted, and it is looking sick. So now, uh, just dragging the welder out and getting ready to start welding it. I'm gonna get the sides kind of locked in place, and then if you look at it from here, I still have a little lip left right here. Um, so I'm gonna work on just, I'll, I'll grind that down, make it flush, and then finish weld it. So I'm gonna silica bronze it since this is a thinner gauge and I just wanna keep the temperature low and we'll get it locked in. This is gonna look so awesome. Really excited about this one.
So take a look. Got it all welded as you saw. Went ahead and ground and filed it. And oh, it just looks so good. As you saw, I, uh, I started out, you can see here there's a little silica bronze. I started out with a little filler. And then since I left that lip uh, just on this inner piece, I was able to just kind of fuse it. So I just drug the torch along and man, it just came out real clean. There's a, a little burble right there, but once I have the frame powder coated or painted, I can, I can fill that beforehand and you won't even know it's there. But I don't want to press my luck and try to repair that thing. But anyway, this thing fits really good. I think it's going to look just awesome. And it does, it will wrap around and it, sh it should fit within the relief. So obviously the wiring is going to be on that side where I have the hole. It's just, I'm excited about it. So I was kind of racking my brain on this one, stressing out over it, but it turned out really well and I'm just glad I did it. So I appreciate you guys watching.